In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. With your You're all very welcome to our Mass on this, the 13th Sunday of the year. And in the Gospel, we hear Jesus say that anyone who shows kindness to him, anyone who welcomes him, not only welcomes him, but welcomes God our Father who sent him. And so our gospel encourages us today to show little small acts of kindness. Even if we give a cup of cold water to someone in Jesus' name, then we will most certainly not lose our reward. Brothers and sisters, to prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries, let us call to mind our sins and ask the Lord for pardon and strength. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault, Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, Ever-Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Glory to God in the highest, and on earth peace to people of goodwill. We praise you, we bless you, we adore you, we glorify you. We give you thanks for your great glory, Lord God, Heavenly King, O God, Almighty Father. Lord Jesus Christ, only begotten Son, Lord God, Lamb of God, Son of the Father, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. You take away the sins of the world, receive our prayer. You are seated at the right hand of the Father, have mercy on us. For you alone are the Holy One, you alone are the Lord, you alone are the Most High, Jesus Christ, with the Holy Spirit, in the glory of God the Father. Let us pray. O God, who through the grace of adoption chose us to be children of light, grant, we pray, that we may not be wrapped in the darkness of error, but always be seen to stand in the bright light of truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. Thank you. 
Thanks be to God. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. I will sing forever of your love, O Lord. Hospitality 
is about kindness and it's about friendship and care and love for other people. Our first reading and our gospel today talk about hospitality. In our first reading, we see kindness that the woman of Shunan showed to Elijah. He lodged with her and her husband every time he passed that way. And then they built him a room of his own because they sensed he was a holy man. They welcomed him into their family. He became one with them. And because of her hospitality, Elisha told the woman, this time next year, you will hold a son in your arms. Jesus declares in the gospel reading that whoever gives a cup of cold water to someone thirsty will most certainly not lose his or her reward. At one level, the giving of a cup of cold water to someone can seem like a very small act of kindness. Yet, Jesus declares that such an act has an eternal significance. There is more going on than just meets the eye. Such small acts of hospitality have a depth of meaning that is not always obvious to others or even to the person showing the act of kindness. In the Gospel reading, Jesus said to his disciples, Anyone who welcomes you welcomes me, and those who welcome me welcome not only me, but the one who sent me. When we give to another in need, no matter how small a way, we are engaging with the Lord Himself and with God His Father and our Father. Small acts of kindness and generosity can reveal an openness of heart and spirit. Great love can often find expression in the smallest of gestures. Jesus seems to have noticed the small acts of generosity of people that would normally go unnoticed. We think of one occasion in the gospel when he drew his disciples' attention to the action of a widow in placing two small copper coins in the temple treasury. And he went on to declare, Truly I tell you, this poor widow has put in more than all of them. The smallest gesture of kindness can be like the mustard seed that grows into a large shrub, or like the smallest piece of dough that it makes the bread grow to its full measure. Love is often shown in small ways by attention to details that make people feel at home. Going back to our first reading, the woman made Elijah the prophet feel at home. She had the resources that the poor widow with the two copper coins in the gospel story did not have. She began by insisting that Elijah break his journey to come and have a meal with herself and her husband. And then she went even further than that and built him a room and a roof and put in a bed, a chair, a table and a lamp so that Elijah could sit down, relax and rest. She gave more than a cup of cold water because she had the material resources to do so. Yet behind both of those, giving the cup of cold water was something that was given in great kindness. And each one of us has capacity to show kindness to other people in small ways. We show kindness by showing hospitality to people who come to our homes, but also by the way we treat people, even in simple little acts of giving our time and even listening to them and, to, and trying to be available for them if they need a shoulder to cry on. Hospitality is a great gift, and Jesus says such a gift will not go unnoticed, because anyone who shows great hospitality to one of the least of his brothers and sisters has shown hospitality to Christ himself. 
and now we profess our faith. I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, maker of heaven and earth, of all things visible and invisible. I believe in one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, born of the Father before all ages, God from God, light from light, true God from true God, begotten, not made, consubstantial with the Father. Through him all things were made. For us men and for our salvation he came down from heaven, and where the Holy Spirit was incarnate of the Virgin Mary, and became man. For our sake he was crucified under Pontius Pilate, he suffered death and was buried, and rose again on the third day in accordance with the scriptures. He ascended into heaven and is seated at the right hand of the Father. He will come again in glory to judge the living and the dead, and his kingdom will have no end. I believe in the Holy Spirit, the Lord, the giver of life, who proceeds from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son is adored and glorified, who has spoken through the prophets. I believe in one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I confess one baptism for the forgiveness of sins, and I look forward to the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Gather together as God's family around the table of the Lord this morning, we bring before our Heavenly Father the needs of our church and our world. We pray for bishops, priests and religious that they may be true servants of the mysteries of Christ. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We pray that we will always reach out in kindness and generosity of heart to welcome the stranger in our midst. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. May those who have become downhearted in life discover the generosity of God in the words and actions of those around them. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We remember all in our community who are sick at this time. May the Lord fill their hearts with love and compassion. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. For all those who have died, may the Lord welcome them into his kingdom of love and peace. Lord, hear us. For members of the Fork Hill Parish community, anniversaries today of Malachi Campbell, Peter Shields, James and Agnes Toll, Vera Morgan and Pat McKeown. We continue to pray for also Mary McCoy of Mafona Road and Felix O'Hare of Fork Hill, who died recently, and locally also for Francis Hamill of Cullaville. In Forget Parish, for masses, at the usual time, starting from tomorrow, in Drummond Parish, we remember the recently deceased Sean Boyle, Raymond Waters, late of Eden Tubber and Parkview, Newtown Clog, Yaroslava Dolsalova, Richard McCabe, Tommy Thornton, Mary Meyer, Nee Rice. Long Island, New York, The Rock, Fjallalitra. We remember those whose anniversaries occur at this time. Yesterday, Peter and Teresa Crilly, Barry Riding, Michael and Essie O'Rourke. Next Saturday, we remember the anniversaries of Walter and Eileen Slaughter. And next Sunday, the anniversary of Sissy and Patrick McArdle. May they and all who have died Come to the fullness of life and happiness in the kingdom of heaven. Lord, hear us. Heavenly Father, you are ever mindful of our needs and concerns. Open our hearts to offer you our love and service through Christ our Lord. Amen.
Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth and work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine and work of human hands. It will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and for the good of all of his holy church. O God, who graciously accomplished the effects of your mysteries, grant, we pray, that the deeds by which we serve you may be worthy of these sacred gifts. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God. For you so love the world that in your mercy you sent us the Redeemer to live like us in all things but sin, so that you might love in us what you loved in your Son, by whose obedience we have been restored to the gifts of yours, that by sinning we had lost in disobedience. And so, Lord, with all the angels and saints, we too give thanks, as in exaltation we acclaim. earth are full of your glory. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. Hosanna, Hosanna, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy. And you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by the same Spirit, Graciously make holy these gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing broke the bread and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. Amen. 
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Therefore, O Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray, upon the oblation of your Church, and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself. Grant that we, who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son, and filled with his Holy Spirit, may become one body, one Spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you, so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Bridget, St. Patrick, and St. Oliver Plunkett, and with all the saints, on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. Father, may this sacrifice of our reconciliation, we pray, advance the peace and salvation of the whole world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth, with your servant Francis, our Pope, Amen, our Bishop, all the clergy and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you have summoned before you. In your compassion, O merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To our departed brothers and sisters, and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory, through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. At the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in, who art in heaven, heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, come thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy 
we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. perfect peace is the gift of Christ our Lord. Thus says the Lord, will the world know my friends? Peace, perfect peace is the gift of Christ our Lord. Lamb of God, you take away the sins, sins of the, the world, world have, have mercy, mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
Let us pray. May this divine sacrifice we have offered and received fill us with life, O Lord, we pray, so that bind to you in lasting charity we may bear fruit that lasts forever through Christ our Lord. Amen. Just before our final blessing, I think we've come to the last week of Mass here in Fahard with the three parishes joining together. The gospel was about hospitality, and so I just want to thank Fahard Parish for showing us hospitality by coming to Mass here each week during the coronavirus pandemic. A special word of thanks to Father Vinod and Father Bernard, to Grania, our sarcastin, who looked after us so well, and to Rosemary and Anne, who looked after the music, and to Roisin, who looked after the readings. And indeed, thanks to all of you, the parishioners of Fahard, for showing us your hospitality and welcoming us to your church. And thank you to John, who made it possible for you to view these masses through the parish Facebook page. Next Sunday, we will be in our own parishes. And please, God, as each week goes on, we will return to normal or indeed a new normal by celebrating Masses in our home parishes. But in the meantime, I wish each and every one of you all God's blessings. And we pray that we will grow from strength to strength from this experience. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass is ended. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.